What's going on everybody? Average Arcader here and it's time for us to review another base mod. This one is the Secret Painting Base by Razzleberries. I happen to really love Razzleberry creations. They normally put a lot of detail into their stuff and you can already see we haven't even gotten into the base yet and nice little custom village and they put it in between two normal villages. Which is pretty clever. We'll check more of that out later. Let's go ahead and get into the base. Okay. So here's the entrance to the base. But if you see here. Hang on. There we go. You hit the right area. It's like you never even know it's there. <laughs> and there you go. Oh, my God. Get in. Love it. Let's see what this place has to offer. Now, I've been through it already. It has about, I want to say, three, four different levels. First level, uh, again, start you off with a little, little fake office there. Go this way, boom. Chanty table right off the bat. Actually, I think there's like three enchanting tables in this little base. I don't know why they did three of them, but hey, it's okay. They work for me. Lots of storage again. Now, some of these have stuff in them already. They'll have food. Some of them even have ingots and stuff like that. So this base is truly ready to go. You'll even be able to build tools and or armor right off the back just coming in. It's also got areas for you to farm already ready, set up. I... I don't think this is a tree farm because there's no once you cut these down there's no way they're growing back I don't know if you can clear that out put something else there you know do your own little thing I don't know give you a little I mean you got plenty of stuff already <laughs> this one I thought was cool there's a little archery range right here that you can uh, fire things at and it already has arrows a good amount too like I said you'll be able to get started now there's no blast furnace or smokers but that's okay you can make plenty of them yourself they even like I said they, they've got many of these have ingots and stuff already in them as you can see so you can pretty much build a blast furnace for yourself take one like take this roll out put blast furnaces there you know you're good to go some cauldrons or sort of things I think the only thing I didn't find in here was a drink station. This is the beginning of your own little mine. There's also no nether portal, but again, you can build that yourself. You got all the supplies here. It's like this is already ready to go. See the little mine thing? Got some diamond right there ready for you to go. Wait, was there anything in this chest? Oh, a fishing pole, so you can go ahead and fish out of that little thing if you want. I mean, you won't really need to. You'll have plenty of starter food. I think if I remember correctly, there's like three beds in the underground part of the base. All the, vill the villages up there have tons of beds up there, so, you know, you'll have plenty. Again, more storage again, more furnaces, and as you saw, stuff is in them. And a lot of good, useful stuff. Ha, this one I think was really cool. This has a pig spawner ready to go. And they can't leave this room, so you can come, take a bunch of them out, use the spawner some more to get some more, so you've got XP and food right there, already ready to go. Again, more storage. Plenty of storage. You're not going to run out of storage in this one. I said it's kind of one of those short and sweet type bases. It's not too complicated, but everything is functional. Another enchanting table, but this one actually has lampis already here. So that you can actually enchant. So many of these will set up this elaborate enchanting table, but not give you any lapis. So you're like, okay, so I gotta 
go dig that out. I mean, it's not a huge amount, but you can at least, again, get started. Does it leave you completely in the dark having to start from scratch? Many people ask me, what's the point of base maps? I'm like, this is why. So you can do a survival run and not have to worry about building a base. You can instantly get started in exploring or finding places to build and setting stuff up immediately instead of having to build a startup base. Get, you know, get your startup tools together. Get all these things put together to do that. Now, your final level is just a little makeshift dungeon little area. Now, if I remember correctly, one, two, I think there's four um, zombie villagers in there. So you can cure them and then use them to populate the village that's on top. I think that's pretty clever that they have that set up right there. And, you know, you don't have to cure them. You can kill them or simply leave them in there as decorate, decoration. You know, you got your own little <laughs> four villagers in trap. So that's pretty much the whole entire base inside. Like I said, it's not huge, but it's cozy, it's functional. That's the most important thing. It's functional and ready to go. This is not meant to be a spectacle. It's meant to be practical so that you can actually use it, which is pretty good. Again, my favorite feature is the fact that, you know, you can basically hide it. If you don't tell your friends what type of map this is and just have them come in, they may actually not find it. You know, if they're good friends that don't go around destroying your, you know, villages and stuff that you make. Shit. All right, let's see what the uh, open area looks like. Let's get some daylight in here first. See, the whole entire, even this little house on top, completely functional, ready to go. You you can work out of this without even going down into the base if you say you don't want your friends to know what you got. Going up. As you can see, that little makeshift village is ready to go. And its chest has stuff too. Now, the villagers are missing at least for me, on both these little villages that are next, like right next to this little bit they built inside. But that's okay. If you do want them, all you gotta do is cure those zombie villagers down at the bottom and you can use them. But everything else is ready to go. I love how they have a little pond here, um, a, a little windmill. Like I said, it's, I love Razzleberry Studios because they love they, they do stuff like this constantly they always put an insane amount of detail into their stuff and it's pretty cool always enjoy it all right I love the terrain of the surrounding area now many of these base mods that I do normally have tons of villages this one not that many there's a good amount uh once you get a little further out but close to not too many which is okay because this terrain is so nice i want to build my own villages in it. one of my things i love to build especially on my survival builds is like medieval kingdoms castles you know medieval villages all type type of thing that's what i like to do and they always look good when you have hillsides and cliff sides and mountains to build them on or in between or underneath or around so this is very nice also i went over to the desert over there this close desert as you can see it's really close to spawn there are five desert temples over there i'll show you um their coordinates right now um, yeah there's five of them i went to each one and i put the coordinates up so you're going to be able to see them right now really close as you can as i showed you it's not that far once you get to that desert you'll be able to find all of them but there's literally five of them over there one of them you have to cross some water but other than that they're really close and ready to go like i said it's a really good really good little area around plenty of areas to build and explore like I said, this is a really nice mod. It's not meant to really be too complicated. It's short, sweet, <laughs> to the point. But it's perfect for a, a starter up, little survival base, 
because you can instantly start to work on which is what I really do enjoy I really may have to do a video a let's play survival series with one of these bases where I start out with one of them and then go through a regular survival run where I build a ba build like a build something cool and then maybe go kill the ender dragon something like that Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment sections down below. Also, let us know if there's any other mods or maps you feel that we should try to check out on the channel or any other games. We're starting to wide out to other games too, not just doing Minecraft. Soon we're going to have reviews and impressions of games that are in early access, games that just came out. So let us know if there's anything you want us to play and we'll try to check them out. But until next time, thanks again for watching. If you watched and to the end, you are awesome. Also, if you liked what you saw, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification button. It alerts you every time we make a new video on the channel. But thanks again for watching. I'm Average Arcader, and I'll catch you next video.